Hello everyone and welcome to Minecraft. Now I was hoping to spawn inside of a forest or maybe a plains biome, something like that. Not a desert. <sighs> We're gonna have to travel all the way over there just for some trees and it's a savanna. Not even, doesn't even look nice. Not the location that I want to build my base in, which is going to be a huge mansion. That's why I've decided, I've made a, I made a prototype. There'll be more on that later, I'll show it off later. That's in another world. I have seen a little island over there, and I think I might sail to it just to see how big it is. Because also there may, might be a, a bigger forest biome behind that, and that might be our base location. Just walking over here for some uh, wood makes me appreciate how good elytra are. That would take less than a second to get over here. Oh, and I'm going to have to craft a boat and sail over to the island. That is definitely something that I'm going to have to get very quickly. Well, I've just made it over to the island. Seems like it's very, very small. Now the game... Oh! There's a ravine here! An underwater ravine! Oh, that looks amazing! Oh! Some glow squid! Look! Oh, the new glow squid! We'll leave them for now. I haven't, I haven't got a sword yet. If I had a sword, maybe I would go after them, but not yet. I was hoping this was going to be bigger so I could possibly put my base on it. And I've noticed the game is a little bit laggy, and I think that's just because it's loading in a lot of new chunks. Uh, that'll probably get better as the video progresses. And we do less exploring. Unfortunately, now it's becoming night time. <laughs> I think it took me so long to get to, to get the intro right on this video that ah, oh, it's now dark and there's drowned. I've already got monsters. Oh, I haven't even got, I haven't even got any any tools to protect myself. It seems over there that looks like a um, what is it? The, the, the spruce forests, which is not what I want. I don't want to. I want, I want a better, I want a better grass color. I want more like this. Oh, oh no, a skeleton. Well, I'll be back. I think I've traveled over that way. See what, see what's that way. No! No, Mr. Skeleton, please. Please, no, no, go away. Don't kill me, please. Oh. I was just trying to collect some resources over on that island before I headed over. Looks like the skeleton didn't want me to do that. Oh well. Well, on my journey over, I seem to have discovered a village spawns just over there. And, uh, well, hopefully we can skip the night because, um, well, I'm very scared. <laughs> There's quite a lot of monsters spawning in this desert. No, skeletons. Oh, I made it. Oh. I need a bed. Is there a bed here? No! Why is there no bed in here? No. Found a bed. Get out! No! This is your fault there's monsters nearby. Hello. Oh, no, 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 no. no, no. Now, uh, might just steal this, this hay. Uh, well, I'm, I'm sorry for stealing your hay, but, um, but you don't actually eat. See, that, that, that's the thing. I, I actually have hunger, and you don't, so you're not going to actually... No, you won't use it. You're just going to let it sit here. Is that a skeleton? No! Oh, offense. No, no. Uh, could you uh, please just... Head over there. There's, uh, seems to be a skeleton. Just, uh, I, just I, don't, I don't, I don't want to die again. But just go and kill it, and then I'll say I did it, and then you know, I look really cool. There we go. Oh, and I've killed the skeleton all by myself. Uh, no one helped me. Oh, oh, it's so laggy. As soon as there's uh, a, as soon as the 1.17 version of Optifine comes out, I'm gonna be downloading that. Because, should I take the compass? Whatever, I'll take it. Uh, because that is going to speed up the game quite a lot. If you don't know what Optifine is, it's pretty much just speeds up the way that Minecraft loads 
So things like this, when I'm creating a new world, it won't be as laggy. I remove all the lag. And you can also do stuff like uh, change the um, windows, the glass, so it uh, all fits together nicely as one big window instead of having each glass block. I think I see some trees! Seems to be also a swamp maybe down there? Can't really see. But over here there's some trees. Oh no, I have not just found the smallest forest in the world. I found another village and I have found the smallest forest in the world. Oh. What I'm thinking now though is this area might be big enough to build the mansion that I want to construct. I mean, I, I, got, I got nice grass for, for the garden. I don't know if there'll be much room for a garden. I think it'll be okay. I think this area might actually be good. I've just found another forest, but it seems to be small again. Because I can see there's a swamp over there, there's mountains over there. Because it would be bigger than the other place. I kind of like the idea of building it within that little space, though. Actually, looking over here, it might be quite a lot bigger. Oh, it might be quite... Uh, a nicer location than than down there. Hmm. Now walking around this area, I think that it might be a better location for my base. Got better views with these gorgeous mountains. And there, there, there is a swamp there, but whatever. And it has it's got up here as well, like flowers on this hill. There's, I think the more mountain, the all the mountains go across, across there. I think. I think it would be quite a nice place to live. I think right now what I need to do is I need to go and gather some tools and I think well, this location that I've found myself in is quite useful because well, I see quite a lot of iron, there's some new copper, there's coal, the new uh, dripstone. Only a small one. With these, I can make tinted glass. Once they're fully grown, and I harvest them with the amethyst. Make tinted glass and not glass, and also spy glasses. There's also the, the this block on the outside. I, I do like the, the look of this block. And then there's also the new um, smooth assault. This is calcite. I think I might collect these. I'm back to the surface now because I've run out of room in my inventory. I have collected quite a lot of iron and coal and a bit of copper. Also a bit of redstone and oh and gold, yeah. Looks like my potatoes are, are done. Oh, mostly. Mostly done. Oh no. Quite a lot of them aren't done. Well some of them are done. There we go. I just make this space a little bit larger make it easier for me to walk around and sort of expand my farm a little bit. This is just for in case the bread, the infinite supply of bread ever, uh, ever runs out. They might have noticed I didn't collect any diamonds while mining and that's because I wasn't really trying to because I saw this. 
This window just looked like a swamp and a load of clay. However, I heard that if you go from the center, let's get uh, one with the center. That one's a bit broken. You go from the center, which will be right here, and you go seven blocks in the Z direction, which is this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then if you mine down here, you, you then probably will find diamonds. And I've used this technique before, and it worked. Now this technique doesn't work every time. You can mine down, down and not find anything. However, most of the time it will. Feels like I've been unsuccessful with this one. I've been doing a few of these now and I haven't found anything. And I thought maybe it was because the uh, diamond distribution has changed in 1.17. Uh, apparently, I haven't tested this. But diamonds spawn closer to the bottom of the world, so you'll find them uh, closer to Y5. It'll be, it'll be better to mine at Y5 than it is to mine at Y11. So I had a look at a video, and apparently it's better to mine two blocks away from the center, and then go down on a third block. I'll link the video that I found in the description, it was quite helpful, and it explained quite a lot. Apparently this trick only works for, uh, I think it was 85% of seeds, which means it probably will work, but uh, with 50% of seeds it's actually better to uh, mine down in the middle of the clay, rather than building out blocks. So I've tried digging three blocks south from the centre of clay, but I haven't had any luck. So I started doing a bit of testing, and what I found was on some worlds I tested on it worked, but on others it didn't. And it was actually better to dig three blocks north. So go from the centre, one, two, and then dig this one down. That was more successful than south, however wasn't very good. In this lake right here, I think it only worked like two or three times. So what I started to do was, well, I started to think maybe it was just swamps. Uh, I had a look at rivers because I heard that it also works in rivers. And I found that if you find some gravel, like right here, you go to the center and go three blocks south one, two, three, and then dig down, you will probably find diamonds. Now there's rules with this, like there is with the clay. By pressing F3 and G, you can bring up the chunk borders, and if you go from the center and then go three blocks uh, away, south, and it goes outside of the chunk, you should actually go to the other side of the chunk, still in the center of that um, gravel and go three blocks south and dig down here. And you'll probably probably find diamonds. And there we go, found some diamonds. I was looking over here and I saw that there's some dripstones, so there might be a cave underneath, and then I f saw this. This looks like an amethyst geode. Let's have a look. Yep. <gasps> and a mine shaft. I've created a little marker so I know where it is, and I can explore that later. Hey, more diamonds.
think I've done all of the gravel patches. And I've got quite a few diamonds. 26 and all these other resources as well. I think there's even more in the chest back at, um, back at our base down there. But 26 times is quite good for this little area. I did make about four pickaxes while mining, so... And a, and a shovel. Now with fortune, I would have a, probably about a stack just for this small area. And there's another lake over there with some gravel in it. Uh, but I think I might do that off camera. So now I think I'm going to get started on my starter base. It's just going to be a little house that I can use to store all my, all my stuff before my big base is created. I do want to show you what my uh, big base, my, my um, the base that I will be creating in this area, will look like. Because I've made a model of it in a creative world. So this is the model of the base that I want to construct. It's only a model, it's not full sized. The real thing's gonna be at least three times bigger than this. Now, the style that I'm trying to go for is kind of an old mansion. I'm going to create the starter base right now, and I'm thinking of doing kind of the same thing as that model that I just showed, but doing it smaller. Now for the real thing, I want to flatten this whole area and then build that huge house, but then I still want a load of space around it, and then maybe we could build, like, stables and put some horses in it, stuff like that, and maybe some farms or something like that. But I want just loads of room around it, I think it'll look quite nice, but anyway, I've got to get started chopping down some trees so I can build this starter house. So this is what I've created. So inside I've got two doors, and inside I wasn't really sure what to do with this room, so I just put some furnaces and a crafting table. This is my furnace room. <laughs> now upstairs there is my bedroom, and I've added this glass ceiling and lanterns, and here's my bed. Again, I wasn't really sure what to put in this room, so I've left it empty. This house will be destroyed when the proper house is built, so it's only temporary. I don't, that's why I wasn't really worrying about what was in the inside. Now through here, there's just a small room and a window. I can look up the lake. And there's nothing really that I could do with this room. It's quite small, so I just left that empty. Now going down here into the basement, there is a lot of storage. Well, it might not look like a lot of storage, but if you look between the chests, which you might have seen as I walk down here, there is a lot. And that goes back, it didn't go back too far, but there is, there's quite a lot of storage put into this tiny room, and this is all sorted. Now through here, there is a little room, which is going to be uh, for the enchantment table. Now, I might make this room smaller because I have made it one block too big, so the bookshelves will be, um, instead of being next to the wall, they'll be one block away, which will leave a little gap, and I don't know how good that's going to look. So that might be changed, that won't be a big job, it was just making the room a bit smaller. I think I might see what it, will look, what it looks like when I get the, when I get an enchantment table and bookshelves. Now in the next episode, I'm going to be travelling into the Never to get one step closer to getting an Elytra. That's going to be necessary if I'm going to do anything with the villagers over here that we, that we saw earlier. I'm thinking of building an iron farm with them and also I want to do some villager trading. But to transport them and to get actually get over there is quite a big journey, which I think the Elytra will help quite a bit. Now that's the end of this episode, and goodbye.